we're going to now use the repeated phrases function in MasterEdit. So after you've paid, you know, copied your text from whatever program you write in, you can paste it here by right-clicking and choose Paste or just Control-V. And uh, this, I had previously highlighted this text, um, so I'm going to hit Reset to get rid of the red marks. Then all you have to do is hit Analyze after you had selected repeated phrases, and then all the repeated phrases show up here. Now, when, you, when you're doing repeated phrases and repeated, repeated words, it's really important that you only do like a page at a time. I actually posted three pages in here. And so I'm going to uh, go and highlight different text for this. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of my scene here. And I'm just going to do page and a half since it's part of the scene on the other page. So there we go. Paste and then analyze. Okay, that's much better. So you, you have the different words. You can see how many times they're repeated. So I'm, what the first thing I do is I look for uh, phrases that are long, like this phrase here, and highlight it by just clicking it. And they're not close together, but still, I might want to change one of those. I have an idea. See the car? These uh, show up pretty close together. But um, I'd have to think of, you know, I could think of the type of car it was. You know, maybe it's a sedan. So he opened the driver's the driver's side door of the sedan. So I could uh, oops, rather that should be an E. There we go. So actually, what I'm gonna do is I can I just highlight the word flashlight, and I can get rid of one of the words flashlight here. So just rather I'll keep the light on you. It actually, sounds more natural what you would say anyway in speech rather than saying, I'll keep the flash and I'll keep the light on you the whole time. And if I wanted to, I can even I could even say keep in the beam, and that paints a slightly different picture too, because now you're imagining that beam of light. So he keep the you know keeping the beam fixed on her. And we know by context what it's referring to. Now here's an example where even though it only appears two times, watch how easy I can fix this. I can I can simply change one of these car keys the keys, and we already know what kind of keys they are by the context of car keys previously mentioned. So, you know, when he said he threw, you know, he threw the keys. So there you go. And actually, this uh, I don't know why it was like that. It should be like this. There we go. So this this function is just so awesome. It's you know, same with the repeated words function, and it's so useful because you know how hard it is to spot this kind of stuff, especially the more distance you have between the repeat the repeat. So let's say this, you know, car keys and then it was down here, where it has more like a hundred words in between or hundred and fifty words in between the, the repeated phrases. Your brain just kind of forgets about it and it's easy to, to skim over this kind of stuff. It's easy for editors to miss this kind of stuff. So this is really helpful. These two functions will definitely catch things that most or a lot of editors will indeed miss. And so you just simply click it and then go through each one, you know, one at a time and uh, look at them and see, you know, hey, is, you know, can I use replace one of them? Usually, like, these simple phrases like to the, in the, you just ignore those. Um, if you want to look at them real quick, you can. But you want to pay attention to, like, nouns, like his eyes, car keys, big phrases. Um, and let's see here, like the flashlight. So mainly it's, like, nouns and stuff you want to look at. And then after you had replaced a lot of them, and actually I want to look at this here, flashlight on. Okay, I already moved one of them, so there we go. So I sometimes want to reanalyze after you've done a few. That way you can see what new ones show up, if any, and then which ones disappear, so you don't like go through the same thing again. Okay, so there you go. So typically what I do is at first I look for the ones that are repeated often, like more more than two times. After that I look for nouns, his eyes, um, you know, the car keys was already changed, the flashlight. So I might want to see if there's, you know, maybe I can change one more of those. In this case, it's fine, though. There's no reason to change anymore. But anyway, so there you go. Um, you can look at, like, the darkness, whatever. So that's, that's how I use it. It's really helpful, and it helps you get rid of some of the, you know, redundancy or monotony. And sometimes you'll, you know, you'll be like, oh, well, you'll see the repeated phrase, and then you'll realize by seeing the repeated phrase that you need to reword that whole sentence. You'll just see, oh, well, I should reword the whole sentence, and then the whole paragraph becomes stronger because of it. So that's the benefits and how I use the repeated phrases function.